Sunny skies and warm temperatures were the rule across all of East Mississippi and West Alabama today. You see the numbers, they tell the story. The high to getting up all the way into the upper 60s, very close to 70. We topped out at 69 after a morning low at 37. No rain today and only a trace so far in the, mar in the month of March. But that is soon to change over the next 24 to 36 hours. Around the deep south right now, mostly in the 40s. We're at 45, 49 in Hattiesburg, a few 50s, 52 in Mobile, 50 in Tupelo, but you can see mostly upper 40s and lower 50s across all of the twin states, again, at the 10 o'clock hour. Satellite radar composite imagery, we take the clouds from the satellite image, overlay it with the radar data coming out from the radars from all across the country. This gives us an excellent presentation as far as what's going on in the atmosphere. Going back to this morning, you can see some clouds much of this not reaching the ground. Again, the clouds quickly sweeping on off towards the east. And again, not, not a big deal here. Clear across much of East Mississippi and West Alabama throughout much of our Sunday. Wider perspective, you can see here's the deal. Uh, we have a developing trough out here. You see this spin down here over Old Mexico. That's an upper air trough. And that will continue to move on off towards the east through the overnight hours tonight. That upper air trough will combine with increasing warm, moist air surging northward out of the Gulf of Mexico to kick off a round of thunderstorms as we go through the day tomorrow. The most of it coming afternoon hours into the evening hours and lasting on into Monday night. Some of the, some of the thunderstorms could be strong to severe. And of course, we'll be here all day keeping a very close eye on that. And we'll pass along any updates as they become available. Around the deep south, temperatures still, you can see that warm air continuing to surge northward out of the Gulf, 63 in Houston, 56 in Baton Rouge. Temperatures tonight will likely not fall very much. We're sitting at 45 now. We'll likely rise a few degrees by daybreak, somewhere in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees as the sun comes up and Monday gets started. Temperatures tomorrow, very nice, getting up into the 70s. But again, we'll pay the price for those warm temperatures with some showers and thunderstorms. Again, some clouds out there this morning. But again, as we went through the day, they quickly dissipated. And now we're watching thunderstorms already beginning to fire out there. Again, that trough just now beginning to enter this image out of here in western Texas. Showers and storms developing along that. This will, again, continue to move on off towards the east, affecting us as we go through the evening hours tomorrow. For tonight, though, temperatures, again, slowly rising or staying steady. Our low temperature, 45 degrees, likely occurring at midnight, and then temperatures rising throughout the remainder of the evening hours. Then for tomorrow, showers and storms. Some could be strong. We'll keep an eye on it. Highs getting up into the lower 70s, near 72. Southwesterly winds gusty at times. Those gusts getting up to 30 miles an hour. Extended forecast where your weekend is always in view. Again, we pay our dues early, Monday and Tuesday. Most of the rain falling on Monday and into Monday night. And then by Tuesday, we'll see a few showers left er over early on in the day. And then we'll cool off. That front will swing through and t high temperatures will be in the 50s, lows back in the 30s. And again, technically it is still winter, so yeah. we expect these big swings like we've been seeing. But again, thunderstorms tomorrow, we'll keep a close eye on those. Continues to swing toward warmth, though. It does. Each time these, these cold swings are not as cold, and the warm swings are a little warmer each time. So uh -huh. we're, we're heading in the right direction. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah. All right, thanks very much. Well, a local soldier injured by a roadside bomb blast in Iraq is back in the United States recovering, and support efforts are underway. George McDonald has the story. Courtney Clemens of Little Rock, Mississippi, is back in the U.S., recovering in a San Antonio hospital after being injured by a roadside bomb explosion while on duty in Iraq. He's a paramedic, and him and five more soldiers was called for a roadside accident. And when they got to the accident, they got hit by an IED, a roadside bomb. The blast killed three of the soldiers, Clemens and two others were injured. Clemens lost his right leg and severely injured his left leg. Still, his church family at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Battlefield are thankful. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. You brought him out for your protection. We feel like God has most definitely heard our prayers to have protected Courtney, but at the same time, we still want to pray for those families that lost loved ones during this same tragic event. God's got healing hands. Oh, God. The church has set up a fund at the Airport Road branch of Trustmark National Bank in Meridian and placed donation jars throughout the Collinsville area. These jars are placed in Piggly Wiggly. There's one in Union Planners Bank. There's also one in Lucky Chisholm Tire Shop. 
These doors are placed there as an effort to aid the Clemens family. That will be Lois and Mitch Clemens while they're in Texas to help take care of their son. From the Battlefield community in Newton County, George McDonald, New Center 11. When we get back, we'll talk about it. They'll finish here from Billy Solly and sports with Jamie Triplett. Stick with us.